Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 28th of November 2019 and the time has just gone 11.25 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the ASX 200, the, or as we call it on a platform, the Australia 200. Uh, and the market, uh, the cash market closed at a record high. So that'll give you an indication of how bullish the sentiment is uh, in the ASX 200. And uh, today's video is going to concentrate on whether this bullish run is going to continue or not. And if you take a look at the wider view, uh, we can see here since mid-August, so for the last few months, we've seen by and large a steady move to the upside. Granted, we had a fairly sizable correction in October, but notice how the lows of October failed to take off the lows that were, that were posted in August. And the market from there slowly kind of pushed higher and higher, and it's going on to post record highs. And in fact, like I said, close at record highs in the cash market. Now, if you take a look at what's going on on the MACD histogram, MACD indicator, we can see here that positive momentum is rising. So, the uh, the upward moves we're seeing in the underlying market and on the underlying market are being confirmed by the steady rise in positive momentum. So, market's moving higher and momentum is pushing is is uh, inc increasing too. So, the bulls are clearly are clearly in control for now. Now, if we do press on higher from here, uh, we could be looking at targeting. 6,900, uh, and then if you get in, in a more medium term view, if you, if you continue to have a rally for several more weeks, we could be looking at targeting the big psychological number of three, sorry, 7,000. So the area, area to keep, out, keep an eye out for in the near term. Now, we have heard uh, in the past 24 hours that there's been uh, a slight increase in tensions between the US and China in relation to the Hong Kong bill. Um, President Donald Trump uh, is, is essentially giving support or backing or as support to the um, to the citizens of, of Hong Kong in relation to the protests. Beijing are likely um, to, to see this as the US interfering in internal affairs. So we could see in, in, in the near term a kind of a, a souring of the relationship between the US and China. Should that be the case, uh, we might see a, a move to the lower, move to the downside in uh, global stocks. Now, uh, if we do manage to have a, have a pullback in, uh, in Australian stocks, we could see the market head back down toward this zone here in around 6,800 to 6,776. This kind of zone here, we saw a lot of consolidation um, in, a, in, a, in a zone not too long ago. And for region, it has been important as in of, important, uh, of importance in the past. It makes it more likely it will be so in the future. But obviously, there are no guarantees. And even if you do drop below it, support could be found from this blue line here, the 50 moving average. We can see that it acted nicely as support on a few occasions and that comes into play pretty much bang on 6,700 and even if you go below that this line here the 100 moving average which is previously active support as well might provide support too and that comes into play at 6,659 so these are areas for potential uh, for potential support or we you know if we do have a move to the downside we might see fresh buyers enter the fold in at these areas should should you move lower um, you know obviously as you can clearly see for the last few weeks and months buying on the dip has been a, uh, has been a popular strategy with traders it's only really if you have a size to break below that and go say below 6600 could then we begin to think you know what maybe this wider bullish trend isn't uh, that isn't isn't that strong should that be the case we could be looking at retesting this red line here the 200 day moving average now, if you are going to be trading the Australian, uh, the Australia 200, the Australian uh, index, it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on over in the US, and uh, and indeed uh, Euro European uh, equity markets too, because Dow theory tells us uh, that the averages or the in, uh, indices must confirm each other. And not too lo not, not too long ago, we've seen record highs uh, in the likes of the S&P 500. We've seen multi-year highs uh, in some Europe, Europe European equity markets. So, if all global markets are pushing higher together. It makes it more likely that the kind of overall rally will last. If you see the Australian market, Australian market uh, pressing, pressing all-time highs while other markets are tapering off, that bit of diversion between the two could be a signal uh, that either the Australian market is overbought or else, perha or, or else perhaps the other markets are, are undervalued. But I, you know, you can be more confident in the wider bullish trend continuing if you can see all markets moving in the same direction, higher that is. Uh, that's all for me this week. Thank you for tuning in and please tune in next week. Thank you very much.